Hey guys, uh, it's Dad. Um, I wanted to go over how I organized my Steam library today, and um, the closest experience I can liken it to is that feeling that you get when you go to uh, the container store, <laughs> uh, usually on like New Year's, um, or maybe Bed Bath and Beyond if you're a plebeian, um, and you walk out with uh 18 tupperware containers that are supposed to like lock together um in like a really stylish fashion and uh maybe some drawer dividers for uh all those ties that you you don't own yet but you're you're going to um and then like march rolls around and then your house is just filled with all of this um uh, plastic shit so, but I'm hoping that uh, my library will stay organized for a while, at least. Um, and I'll just run through it super duper quick, because um, before there kind of was a system, and then after a couple of sales and not um, keeping up with it, uh, things started to make less sense, and then there were huge redundancies in um, <laughs> categories, and then I just stopped, so everything was like lumped at the bottom. So uh, we can kind of go over it super quick. Um, so here you see uh, <laughs> uh, my organizational system that's um, it kind of rivals the, the Dewey Decimal in terms of its complexity and ingenuity. Um, favorites at the top, I cleaned that up a little bit because um, some of them were kind of like uh, like wishful thinking favorites like these are games that I would like to play more because they're cool and I heard they're cool and I'm really bad at it but maybe if I add it to to my favorites menu I'll somehow get better but uh, Hotline Miami sadly never got e easier for me um, so Right now, Broforce is a new one that my friend Paul introduced me to, um, and I don't play it a lot, but uh, I like it. It's it's new. It's it's familiar in like a new and different way, if if that makes sense to you. Like it's it's a platformer. Um, it, certain aspects of uh, like the pacing and all of that is, you know, it's if you if you grew up playing video games, which I didn't, but um, I'm familiar now with like the kinds of things that were out then and you know have access to emulators and all of that um you'll be familiar with sort of like uh the music and and the aesthetic uh but there's also just a whole additional level of crazy so um that's that's a fun one to uh play with friends because um it makes a the controls are like a little unintuitive and i almost feel like i kind of don't even really still get how it works like 10 percent don't get how it works um because the rest is pretty straightforward you can either shoot or like melee or uh whatever and basically just kind of like tumble through uh the universe of bro force destroying everything um and trying not to die uh Fez is just there, even though I've played it, uh, I think, twice, uh, once to, like, 99% completion, and then once, like, halfway, or kind of kind of just, like, jumping around the map. Um, Gary's Mod, just because it's, like, probably one of the funniest tools or games, like, in the world. Uh, this is, like, an old-school favorite from when I got my first console. Uh, satellite rain is good it's um it's like what I hoped and and thought Shadowrun would be like and um in my book so uh, satellite rains really good uh, frustrating at some points um, secret world is uh, that um what is it MMORPG that's uh, based in sort of like Steve Stephen King's New England kind of like if you've ever seen or read um, the mist uh, it's that kind of thing um, I'm not allowed to play that anymore let's not talk about Civ and of course Team Fortress uh, so then I have it divided I'm not gonna go through all of it uh, but uh, I just learned that you could add non-steam applications so I did um, 
and I put all the scary games into <laughs> one category because I'm a very anxious person and but actually out of all of these um well I haven't played uh The Vanishing of Ethan Carter I got that today um but I've played the rest uh Amnesia The Dark Descent is a lot more about uh um, atmosphere and uh, at, th at some point it actually just gets boring because um, it's like oh no my lights running out it's like I'm going crazy uh, there's like just a couple of like uh, semi demi hemi jump scares that are they're not anything um, it's it's more kind of like a like a dread you know uh, Alan Wake scared me for the two minutes I played it and then I never played it again um, don't know what this is definitely didn't buy it I don't know where it came from but I also have <laughs> the DLC like I would never buy anything with illustration that looks so fucking awful because uh, you can kind of tell that the game's probably shit too um, this is a new thing I don't even remember what it is uh, in my defense, like almost all the games I buy are like, f like forty nine cents to maybe two ninety nine, with a few exceptions. Uh, Master Reboot is actually probably one of the only ones that I've played so far, that despite being like a wildly imaginative game, um, relies on relies on a couple of jump scares, um, and in a way that's repetitive, like not even like in a in a cheesy horror movie where they get you every time. Um, it's like the same thing. It's like, I'm a scary doll girl and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Um, so it's like scary and annoying at the same time, which is a great combo. Um, Soul Axiom, I believe, is the uh, predecessor? Does that mean before or after? Whatever. It came after Master Reboot, I think. Uh, and Stasis, I feel like I need to do like a whole thing on that one because that's like a game that not enough people play and I think is probably uh, absolute perfection when it comes to its genre. Um, and it's very like a, it, uh, it's like Cronenbergian like body horror. It's, it's a lot sort of like that visceral uh, kind of like deep-seated fear that all humans have that um, your body will somehow decay or, um, you know, uh, just become mutilated or, or just a uh, shapeshift or metamorphose or, or whatever. Um, so that's good. Uh, classic is like all the Sega emulators and stuff. So, and then like uh, I, I got a little overzealous with getting like the super cheap um, bundles of uh, old franchise games um, and ended up with probably like a. F Ten too many half lives, but um, Bioshock totally worth it. I can't wait to play uh, the original Bioshock. I've gone in backwards order, um, and I managed to grab the DLC for that. I don't know where that is, but um, so and then more like indie or a uh, big studio, but one off kind of uh, either first person shooters or just a uh, first person first person based uh, missions so and I actually don't think that the 39 steps belongs in here um, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, the book but it's sort of a old-school um, espionage thriller um, kind of up there with like John Le Carre like a uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy um, or something like that I read it as a kid and didn't understand at all uh, most of the implications but um, I've always loved it anyway and gone back and read it and it's basically like a very simple kind of a graphical animated novelization novelization animation of a novel um, and whatever uh, all that stuff um, excited to play Lemma it's a parkour type game where you're actually uh, creating your environment as, as you go um, so basically ho I'm hoping that it's like a not shitty version of Mirror's Edge because I really just loathe that game a lot. Just the way that, um, just the way it moved and how it felt, uh, I, I didn't like it. And, uh, <laughs> I like that Postal 2 looks like Portal 2 and sometimes I click that accidentally and, uh, Instead of finding myself in Aperture Science Labs, I am pissing on people on fire. 
All right, so uh, I'll stop here because this is um, what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, I feel like this category of games has, um, I don't know if it's a resurgence or um, just something that has started and has been growing as the indie game scene and like Steam Greenlight and just uh, people totally unrelated to Steam have been working on uh, smaller, cheaper to produce um, and cheaper for its consumers uh, games that are less graphic intensive and I like to just call them like uh, you know minimalistic um, sometimes abstract but not necessarily because uh, abstract is like a term that um, isn't always true just because something is shaped you know um, so I'm just gonna give you a quick clip uh, of each one like maybe just like three or four minutes and um, I actually really like Photonica but I don't know if I put it on this list so I'm gonna like do do a sneaky edit and try and get it on that list but uh, we're gonna skip all the bit trip games because they're actually very uh, colorful and um, irritating and I don't really rank them up there but they're really good for when I'm taking care of kids or teaching kids and giving them some free time off um, test your reflexes uh, you know test your sense of rhythm so uh, let's get started with Dark Echo and hope that it works alright and I've never played this one before so we will see how that goes. Hmm. Ow. So the concept of this game is that you are blind <laughs> and um, you're basically using okay I gotcha you're using like a visualized form of echolocation which I know sounds kind of like redundant and backwards but um, you're seeing the visualization of sounds I, all right all right all right all right I'll stop talking and I'll move so you're seeing the way that the sound waves kind of bounce off um, its surroundings. So now you see that the space is getting larger and then like a narrow corridor again and I don't know why that's an exit really uh, I guess there's like a little vestibule for the door and so then the sound waves become unpredictable. I, I'm not I'm not saying this is the most uh, is that jumping? Oh, it's just, it's like using a, uh, a tapping stick or a, <laughs> um, so we're using, so now, I don't know why up is down. Oh, I see, it's like scrolling. All right, I've hit a wall, but I know there's space this way. Interesting. I don't know what kind of hallway looks like that, but... So it broadens out quite a bit. It almost seems like there are hallways fanning out in all directions. Okay, that, that's a dead end. Um, let's go down this way. There's another one. Oh, and it helps to be able to see your... Uh, Wait, I want to go back up here and see what's up here. Helps to be able to see the trail of your footprints as well. Now I think that's it in terms of hallways, so we're going to go backtrack down this way. And at this point, I don't really need to make any more noise until uh, I retrace my footsteps and get into new territory. <laughs> so there's like a very real chance of I think getting hurt I don't know if you die and respawn or if you just die uh, but later on I, I saw like a trailer I think um, that's a very uh, constricted space that the red lines mean bad guys so we're gonna hope that there are no red lines for now And I mean, even even your uh, 
footsteps themselves automatically give off sound waves. Um, so I think those, uh, like the, the space bar that sound is probably good for, uh, broad, broad spaces or may come into use later on when, um, the bad guys come out. Uh, should, sh I, sh I should just walk into it, right? Let's see what happens. I don't know why red's the bad color. I've died of exsanguination. Right, so let's see if it's hard to get past. I'm gonna really like hug that wall up there. Are those flies? So that's an interesting soundscape you got there, mister. Alright, so it looks like I can, I think, bypass that little trap over there. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Door, okay. Hmm. Fear, it sounds scary. I think we'll leave it at that. Um, so, uh, let's see. What do I want to do next? Um, we're going to get we're gonna get rid of this guy because he's just too scary. Um, and I do want to show you hex cells, but I can't promise you how good it's going to be. So, we will see. And I will see you guys in one second. I'm doing a ninja edit. Mm, not very ninja like. Okay. Okay, so um I got I found Photonica. It was hiding. Um and this one um I've played before and not gotten too far and it's not my favorite, but uh I I think it's interesting. It's part of that whole new family of just very uh graphically sparse, but um to me, it's conceptually interesting, and uh, it's not quite like a parkour game. Uh, it's definitely like one of those non-stop platformers, um, the ones that just keep going and going and going. Um, but there's also the whole issue of uh, using... It's not even like cell shaded. It's literally just lines against the background, as you you shall soon see. Um, but there's uh, the issue of uh, death perception and all of that so and then meanwhile I had I think it just finished but um uh, anti-chamber actually uh, which is um a lot less minimal in terms of not so much storyline but like you know how the game works the game mechanics and stuff but um it's the same kind of look and I'm just gonna throw that in there kind of as uh, maybe an afterward sort of um, so let's get started. This will be really quick, and I say that because I, I die really quickly in this game. Um, I don't even remember if I remember how to play it. Santa Ragione! <laughs> Hold any button to run release to jump holding in to land but there is gravity in this game so you land anyway I think it's to force a, a faster landing M to mute M to mute myself um, let's try arcade first right. oh and it's got those goofy hands so so I stop I don't need oh I can I can use the directional keys I guess but um just out of familiarity I'm using W but uh any any, bu any button at all will do I don't want to do okay so I, I hit it again and it um it forced me down it's kind of like uh, when I when I'm playing 
TF2 and I was learning how to air strafe and all that and people were like stop pressing W and I was like but W makes you go forward and um and then they explained it to me it's telling me to jump but I just I don't trust him yet <laughs> Oh yeah, that's it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a lot about a. <laughs> I'm not having a very good time. Uh. <laughs> what happened to the music? There used to be like. <laughs> Oof. Oi. Oh, mama. Alright, so... What, I mean, just rub it in that I fucking fell into endless abyss. <gasps> Wait, what? <sighs> I don't know what, ha what happened there. I don't know if I'm starting over or... <sighs> I don't think so. Thank you. So I think you have to. Did I do it? I got I got it like a D minus minus. Um. Furioso, impetuoso. I don't really agile. I don't know if um. Lower numbers means like harder, but we'll see. Let's try one more. You guys get the idea. Um. But you get to more complex structures that kind of mess with your eyes a little bit more. And you don't have have those lines, right? Um, those evenly spaced lines, so... So there's a little bit more of an issue with, a uh, Holy shit! I died. So it's good. I I hit gold. You hit different colors, um, and I'm just I'm gonna, you know, do that for a while. Mm -mm. Oh, where'd my cursor go? So um, yeah, I don't know. I like that one. Um, and I think it's like they optimized it for use on uh. You know, like a touch touch screen um, object, uh, maybe even as small as like an iPhone. I'm not sure. I don't I don't use um, smartphones anymore, and I haven't downloaded games for them in a while. But I'm pretty sure this is uh, one of the ones that you could uh, download onto your. Um, um, what are they talking about? <laughs> I'm hungry. Um, you can download onto your cell phone. So, uh, let's, let's go on to the next one. Alright, so, um, I went ahead and started, uh, Soko Bond, which I think is, uh, probably a little bit more complex, um, because it's, it's based on, I think, a chemical bonding between, um, different atoms and molecules and whatnot, and I really, I don't know how, how based in reality it is, but it's, uh, Apparently one of the 25 best puzzle games ever made, uh, which, um, I, that seems unlikely. There's some pretty good puzzle games out there, but it looked really interesting. People liked it, and, and the first review on the Steam, uh, store page says, it helped me pass my chem exam. So maybe if Sokobond had been around, uh, when I was just a dirty little shitbird in high school cutting class, uh, every two periods um just smoking weed in the in central park uh maybe i would have gone somewhere maybe i wouldn't be making videos about about soko bond uh i have a feeling that i'd i'd be exactly where i am today and just as happy so is that where i want to go Nope, but look how small my face is. Alright, no, this is where we want to go. Uh, mouse, does mouse work? No. 
I like that sort of the... I don't need to know about the settings. We'll make this quick. Hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. Um, let's go. Oh, can I rotate? I should probably have looked at. All right, so I think that. Oh yeah, okay. Oh no, not okay. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, look at the settings because I feel like I should be able to either switch the target or or maybe not. Um, oh, we're going to turn on windowed so I can actually see what's going on. There's really like no controls or anything. Alrighty then. We'll just we'll just do what feels right. I just feel oh I got a bond from the top. That took me way too long. Okay. I like how this little guy is designed. Smaller room. What is the name of- I feel like this is based off of that game like where there's a little guy and he, he's pushing like barrels around and he has to not get himself stuck in a corner because he can't pull, he can only push. Um. Do you think they can connect in a, like a right angle? Because then I could just go, I can move the bottom hydrogen to the O and then scoot the whole thing. No, I got it. Oh, nope. That's not a thing to do. I am 60% water and 40% vitriol. Let's do let's do the square one cuz sometimes the ones that are uh symmetrical turn out to be a lot more difficult, I think. So what are we doing? We're this is something else. Right? Or are we still making water? H2O2, that's a thing, isn't it? Hydrogen dioxide? Hydro oh! I didn't mean to do that. Let's just try that. Um, I, don't, I don't think I should have done that. <clears throat> I kind of feel like I shouldn't have done that either. Oh, I'm feeling really dumb right now. Okay. Uh, is there a way to switch targets? No, I guess that's the whole point. Is there room for all three? Alright, so let's put baby in the corner. Um... See if I could do that and just leave it there. <laughs> oh, it's a a dangerous game you're playing there, sister. Cuz I don't think the H is the hydrogens are supposed to touch each other at all. Right, because then it, it takes up its one one connector. So there's no like uh. Wait, can the oxygen connect to the oxygen? 
It's like telling me I should probably undo. Let's go to the other one! Alright, if you guys can figure out, let me know. Um, I tried to do a big pharma the other day, like, just my brain absolutely just shut down. So. I don't know if the rotation actually has anything to do with it. Like, for instance, when it's, um, what is it called? Like, it's, va it's va covalent, whatever. Uh... There's really no nowhere else that I can go. Oh. Uh. So where else can I go? So they can't touch. Is orthogonal? Does that mean diagonal? I don't remember. Can't touch diagonally, so. so if we wait, do they connect? Oh no, because it doesn't have a connector. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, okay. They're not permanently connected. That was really loud, and, and I apologize. Um. Well, fucked if I care, because I'm never going there. Uh, let's try this guy again. Now that I know that you can. Uh, like push piece pieces over. Because these guys can't bond. Right? Okay. Hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Should we do the whole thing? What is that, nitrogen? Um. Oh no. I don't think I should have done that. Blah! He knows I'm fucked. There's nothing really for me to like Okay. I just did this. I did the same fucking thing, didn't I? Come on, come on, come on, mama. I think maybe you have to push against the yellow blocks, like in a crossword, like the blank spots, in order to. Oh, goddamn. Carbon? Do you think if I just go boop 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 boop? Nope. <laughs> um. There's something happening here. If I just do that but in reverse order. No idea what I did. I don't know that I can do it in reverse order. God am. So interesting side note, I don't know if you guys know that um, I'm a glass blower, a traditional glass blower by training. I uh, haven't blown glass in a while. Um, although I, ha I have a studio set up at home. 
um, there are a couple of very few uh, rare places on Earth because uh, hot shops um, where people uh, melt down um, and fabricate glass pieces uh, are probably some of the least green spots to be on Earth. Oh no. Oh no. Oh mama. Um, so there's a couple of places where they uh, use the um, methane from a, like a landfill in order to actually fuel uh, what would normally be natural gas in an oxygen mix to run uh, like a 2300 degree furnace. So, Mr. Shmoney Penny. Um, I wish I could be like, Phew. oh, but these have the, ha they have the, uh, the blocks. They have the yellow blocks, so maybe. I can't remember how I got them to disconnect last time. Uh, it seems that I'm a little bit <laughs> landlocked. I can't, I can't move him over, you goddamn fucking son of a bitch. <sighs> Alright, let's start with one of the side ones, maybe. Ah. <sighs> okay, so if I hit it with the green from the top, obviously they're gonna bond, but what if I got real sneaky? Maybe they need to push up against each other. Ugh, this is gonna be the fucking end of me. Oh, so those two hydrogens on the left and right, they can't touch one another because they still have open slots. But this guy can do this. took me about 10 minutes. Oh. Let's finish the yellow rooms. I know this is a little longer than um, I had hoped. Oh, I'm not sure how to... Because then... It can't possibly- no, I don't think it's that easy. Yeah. I can't seem to figure out the logic between when things uh, bust apart. Well, let's see if we can kind of finagle our way down like that and then like that. Yeah! 
So yeah, I think the place is called Glass X, I could be wrong, um, but they run these massive uh, kilns uh, just running off of landfill waste gases. That one has two receptors. Mm, I don't know what's supposed to go where. Okay, so nitrogen can connect to... Probably connects to two hydrogens and one oxygen, and then the oxygen connects to the last hydrogen. Right? Because otherwise it leaves an extra, um... Like an, a neutron, proton, I, I don't know. Uh... Uh-huh, 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 uh-uh, 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 something like that, we're almost, we're almost there, but, uh, now I don't really remember what I did, I feel like if I pass that guy, we're gonna bond, right, oh, Yes, okay. Hydro hydro hydroxylamine. Alright. I don't know which one's called coyote. Okay, this one's the last one. Road runner, road runner. Going thousand miles an hour. Gonna drive past the stop and shop with the radio on. Oh, it's oxygen that's moving. Oopsies. If I do... Ah, uh, yeah. That bonded, huh? Uh, that ain't no good. Okay. If I do that... That can't... Bond with that. Fuck. Okay. I'm not really even thinking right now, so I sh uh Yeah. Cuz I want to get up here, I think. Oh yeah, methanol. Is that the kind that makes you blind or the kind that makes you stupid and blind? Oh wait, the other way around. Alright, so that's that's enough of that. That was a long enough. Uh, let's pause you. That was fun. I had myself a good time. Um... I'm getting so cold and so hungry, so I might just do like a, like just a, a a couple more. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, you go away now. All right. Ooh. I want to try out hex cells, but I kind of don't want to. Uh, Mini Metro is a basically a city planning game. Um, it just it looks very simple, so I might um, skip that for now. Uh, split it in half. Um, we'll do like a minute of anti chamber, which is actually a much more uh, involved game. So uh, we'll do that for a couple of minutes, and um, and then I think maybe we'll call it quits for today, so I can go eat my hamburguesa. Um, and then we, we'll come back on a different day or maybe later tonight, so it'll be part two. Okay, so I totally lied. And, um, I, I got, I got so hungry that I, I went and got my carne aduada burrito. And it's really good even though it's cold in the middle, so I'm just gonna do that. And meanwhile, I've loaded up anti-chamber. Um, which I guess is like running off the Unreal Engine or the Unreal um, Developer's Cup. 
And to be completely honest, I don't know why they put potatoes in this. So let's go ahead and run out. I really do apologize for this. I felt like I was just gonna start crying. It was like that first world hunger, but it feels so real. Like you've never been hungry in your life and you have to cry right now. my tiny cursor crosshair or whatever <clears throat> so a little bit of possibly untrue backstory but whoever was developing this was working on something using I guess this developer's kit or whatever language or I don't know I don't actually know how to use this to... Wait, what? Oh, I can, I can just do it right here. Okay, I don't want to invert the mouse. However, I do want to go into windowed mode. Because <clears throat> that actually helps me see whether uh, I'm recording properly. This ain't all fun and games, kids. Oh, that, that looks weird, huh? Let's go back to where we were. Okay, uh, otherwise it's zero as you jump, uh, mouse, okay. So the guy who was developing this, I think, found that, um, like, as a glitch, uh, it was possible for him to develop these, um, uh, impossible spaces, you know, like a, a few artists and, um, probably physicists um have explored uh like you know like escher's uh, illustrations and uh, i can't remember the names of the guys who sort of conceived of those like you know like when you're in like 10th grade and you in your textbook uh, uh i can't go in there okay i can't can i go in here i feel like i, I feel like i can't go in here oh whoops <laughs> <laughs> Where? Um. Wait. I feel like you tricked me. So definitely, like the most complex in terms of uh, like how many levels, um, particle effects. Uh, but you know, all in all, it's that that cell shading. It's the it's a lack of. Um, sort of artificial depth through shadowing what happens come on let me in let me in you bastards all right so apparently we came um this way i dropped out of the sky i dropped out of that little hole um and i think that this form of illustration is very conducive to 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 fucking with your sense of depth right because you're not relying on on visual cues uh Miss, I missed that. I missed that one too. All right, uh, I saw this guy. I like to see this right now. Oh, uh, that follows because those are two different words, two different meanings. So, so far we haven't really seen like the impossible spaces, but after a point, it's kind of like the... Is it that book, The House of Leaves, I think? Where, um... The interior of the house... Oh, my mic's been up because I was chewing. Uh, the book, House of Leaves, where the interior of the house uh, seems to... Seems to grow. Uh larger and larger and hold all kinds of secrets uh who's like angling up here this is really weirding me out hmm. all right might have been an issue with the uh no 
No, 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 this is real. This is happening. Hold on. Huh. Alright, left or right? If I'm eating a burrito, go right. But oh my, how could this be? Right. This is new though. Choice. I don't know that that's true. Do you like how they're just meat? Like strings of meat falling out of my mouth? Because I do. I'll do that a couple more times and see if anything actually changes. Because they could just be flights of stairs. Like this time, maybe if I went the same way. Hmm. <laughs> Am I really stuck this early on? I might have to go back. You think anything will change? Oh yeah. Nice. So you guys see how that worked? Like how that shouldn't have been? Because uh, once you enter the stairwell. It turned into a, a all white loop, but now I'm in this room. It's completely just like hippie fungadelic. Um, I'm just I'm going in circles, but hold on. Yeah, like that space should be this space, but in fact it is this space. And like twenty dollars that if I touch that I die. Oh no, oh, good. The ceilings are making no sense to me at all. It's a one-way door. Oh, so I hit escape like it said, and... If I don't like where I've ended up, try doing something else. If only the mistakes of my youth were so easy to rectify. And this is like legit clip art from Microsoft circa like 2002. Go here again? No, let's go. Well, I guess we have to because we haven't reached any other. Oh! Okay. I think what I need to do is not be such a fucking klutz. Wait, hold on. That's this wall, second wall, third wall, fourth wall. Um, and not fall down that initial uh, thing that I fell down, but I most likely will, so. Oh, god damn it, we're back here again. Let's go back. Does that mean I should just keep going down the same stairs? Because I don't really want to. Whee! Whee! Mama, I can't jump too high. We're back to this place. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up back at a... Very disoriented. It says to hit escape. I don't, but what if I hit escape here? <gasps> oh no. I guess I could go there again. I, I, I'm gonna do it one more time and then I'm gonna leave and eat my burrito. Mm, but it's a jump before. Do not. Or no. We could go this way. Oh, 
I felt like I was maybe gonna go up if I tried hard enough, but um. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Instead of jumping, maybe I will. Oh! That's some like Indiana Jones shit. Wait, but that's where I just came out of. My goodness. So maybe I need to go this way. Nope. Uh. So you get the gist. It's it's a bunch of spaces where things shouldn't be, where walls disappear, where orientation changes. Although we haven't run into a whole bunch of that yet. I have a feeling or a vague memory that that happens. Just like that old Jamiroquai um, video where, uh, you know, okay. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I've I've created a set of stairs for myself. I mean, some of this isn't really so much about um, impossible spaces as it is just about like cool effects. Like, hey man, I uh, discovered this nice dissolve effect. But what if I wanted to do this? This? Okay. Small, like these small steps? That didn't do anything. I thought, oh, oh, geez. Did that ledge get a lot taller? Did I imagine that? I've played this before too for like hours and I just have no recollection. It's yellow up there. Ooh. <laughs> My body. I don't know. I don't know if I can handle this. Like from other games, I feel like I've been trained to believe that these kinds of particles and barriers mean that I will DIE IF I RUN THROUGH THEM! Oh, it was... Oh, okay. Huh. They're almost like those tetrominoes that I've been playing with them. Um. Is that wall I was trapped behind? Oh, I can crouch. Is there a way to go faster? This is an elevator, and now we're going up. Uh, alright. You have arrived. Oh! Uh-oh. I think it was about to generate, like, a walkway for me, and then... I fell off. And I really love that um, this is making like seagull sounds and it's basically a simplified porthole like you'd find on a ship. So I think that's actually really... If I just walked into the darkness. Nope, that's not a thing. Not as smart as me. That, that would have been cool. Alright, I think that's a good place to stop. Um, I'm gonna finish and then um, I'm gonna finish up the rest of those four games I wanted to show you guys. So, um, I will see you guys. Hold on. I'll see you guys later. Ooh.